Hi, this is Marty once again and welcome to my channel. Our topic for today is a fairy tale, the story of Cinderella. It is about a girl who came from a noble family. Her name is Cinderella. She is the only daughter of a wealthy and widower duke who has remarried to provide her with a stepmother and two stepsisters. Let us all learn how Cinderella lived her life together with her stepmom and stepsisters. The Story of Cinderella Once upon a time, a nobleman lived who married after his wife died, with a woman who had two daughters and three of them didn't have a lot of good virtues. The nobleman had a daughter from the first marriage, but she was, unlike her stepsisters, good and beautiful as her mother was. Right after the marriage, the stepmother showed her real face and made her stepdaughter Cinderella do all the housework while sleeping on the attic. She looked after her daughters and dressed them nicely. The girl, despite her misery, got on fine with everything, but she couldn't say anything to her father who was also afraid of the stepmother. Every night after a long day of working, she used to sit next to the fireplace. Even though she was wearing rugs, she was still more beautiful than her stepsisters. One day, the king organized a ball for his son and invited all of the nobility. The two stepsisters who were looking forward to the dance, made their hair and prepared their dresses. Cinderella selflessly helped them and wanted to go to the dance as every other girl, but dressed badly and filthy because of the ash she couldn't go anywhere. Her stepsisters agreed with that. When the big day finally arrived, her stepsister went to the ball. Cinderella said goodbye to them in tears and then her godmother, who was a good fairy, saw her. She felt pity for the poor Cinderella, and when she told her she wanted to go to the ball, the godmother decided to help her. First, she sent the girl to the garden to get a pumpkin, and then she carved it and made a beautiful carriage out of it. After that, Cinderella had to bring the mouse trap where six mice were caught. And as one by one left the mouse trap, the fairy godmother turned them into horses, and the lizards the Cinderella found were turned into servants. Cinderella was still wearing the felted dress, so the fairy godmother made her a beautiful dress with just a touch of her wand. Nicely dressed, Cinderella was ready for the ball. 
The fairy godmother reminded her that she can't stay after midnight because then everything goes back to normal. When she arrived, the prince spotted her immediately and was impressed with her beauty. Cinderella started dancing with the prince and sat around the table with her stepsisters and shared lemon and oranges with them that she got from the prince. The stepsisters did not recognize her. Cinderella was so happy dancing with the prince that she almost forgot what the fairy godmother had said. At the last moment, Cinderella remembered her fairy godmother's words. Oh, I must go! She cried and ran out of the palace. One of her glass slippers came off but Cinderella did not turn back for it. She reached home just as the clock struck 12. Her carriage turned back into a pumpkin, the horses into mice, and her fine bow gown into rugs. Her stepmother and stepsisters reached home shortly after that. They were talking about the beautiful lady who had been dancing with the prince. The prince had fallen in love with Cinderella and wanted to find out who the beautiful girl was, but he did not even know her name. He found the glass slipper that had come off Cinderella's foot as she ran home. The prince said, I will find her. The lady whose foot fits this slipper will be the one I marry. The next day, the prince and his servants took the glass slippers and went to all the houses in the kingdom. They wanted to find the lady whose feet would fit in the slipper. All the women in the kingdom tried the slipper but it would not fit any of them. Cinderella's stepsisters also tried on the little glass slipper. They tried to squeeze their feet and push hard into the slipper, but the servant was afraid the slipper would break. Cinderella's stepmother would not let her try the slipper on. But the prince saw her and said, let her also try on the slipper. The slipper fit her perfectly. The prince recognized her from the ball. He married Cinderella and together they live happily ever after. Lesson learned from the story. The story tells us how important to be kind and forgiving. There is a great strength in kindness. Cinderella teaches us kindness is a form of beauty which will eventually be recognized. Forgiving helps you move forward in your spiritual path. When you forgive someone, you forgive yourself. It allows you to take your power back. Negative emotions rob your energy and take a toll on your body, mind, and spirit. But if you forgive, forgiveness frees you, and we breath and sight of relief which is good to one's health. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you like my story. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.